Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and welcome to This Week in WoW for the week of October 22nd. Before we get started, we got to thank our Patreon supporters. We have Mario Casillas, Rep Pally Rocks, Nick Rada, and Peter Burnham. Thank you guys so much for the support. Appreciate it so, 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 so much. Let's hop in and talk about what's going on in the game this week. So last week, we did the Mythic Plus affixes, or we tried to. We tried to guess what the bargain would be based on if it was going to go in the same order. It was in a different order. So we actually don't know what the Mythic Affix, or what the bargain will be for Xalatas Bargains this week. Um, it appears like it's going to be random. I added a comment in the video last week, or yeah, I believe a comment, I pinned it, that what I'm guessing is happening here is that it can be any of them. They just can never be back to back. So it'd be like a simple thing to code or whatever. So it could be any of the fixes in any order. You can just never have two in a row. Would be my guess. That would be really weird if we did. Maybe they made it so you could have two in a row. But I would I would assume that they would put something in to not let that happen. And so you would just have a random of the four with one option not being allowed on the first first of the reset of the four. Um, that That's why I assume this is going to work. So... Um, yeah, other than the Mythic Plus affixes and clearing that up from last week, we have a huge patch today. So this is the anniversary patch. Um, let's let's before we dive fully into that, let's let's mention the other things going on in the game. But th that's obviously the big highlight of the week and the coming weeks. We have two events that involve PvP. We have PvP Brawl and we have Arena Skirmish bonus event. However, again, if you're really looking for honor, the Korox Revenge, the 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 actual anniversary stuff is going to have some PvP stuff you can do as well, which might be a little bit more lucrative. We also have Hollow's End starting at the end of the week. This is one of my favorite in-game holidays uh, to do. Um, you know, I honestly, one thing I loved doing when I first played this game um, was the very first time there was Hollow's End in the game when I was playing. Uh, you know, going on an alt, and I would go to the different inns and get the free XP. Now, back in the day, you know, getting that free XP was, like, a lot more meaningful than it is now. But, you know, I just love doing that stuff. And, you know, you got your little items that help you out as well. And th those items were more impactful back then, too. But either way, maybe it's just nostalgia, but I love this little event in the game. And I'm always a big fan of it. I love the Headless Horseman encounter. I love all of it. Of course, they added um, some Scarlet Monastery stuff last year. I believe it was just last year uh, to in kind of coordination with this. And yeah, it was, it's, it's pretty cool. I don't think there's any new updates this year uh, for it uh, in particular, but there could be like new items or something that they add to it. Um, I'm not sure. Or, or if that's even data mineable or if it was data mined, there could be little things added, but I don't think there's any big things changed. Obviously the Scarlet Monastery thing last year was pretty large. So uh, that was kind of a big change. So um, yeah, so there's that. So now that we've talked about the more mundane things, let's hop in to talk about the patch coming out. So with this patch, we've gone over the patch notes of it in a video already, so we won't like drone on about it, but we have tons of class changes. Uh, when I was reading through the patch notes, there's probably, I don't know, what, six or more specs in the game that like, more than that if you count like actual like class tree changes like for Paladin. Um, more than that right so probably 10 to 15 specs in the game that are going to have major changes um in this patch today so that's huge obviously if you play any sort of end game whatsoever even if you're just doing tier 8 delves and like doing that like that's still content that you kind of need to know how your talents work and stuff um so there's some big changes with that for a lot of specs a lot of classes so that's a huge thing on its own on top of that we're getting other we're getting the anniversary patch we're getting you know some other changes as well uh, in the game this is a very very huge patch i assume like other anniversaries i don't know if it will not start until the actual anniversary which is in november but or if it's just going to be now just for an extra long event but you always get like extra reputation you get extra experience um there's all kinds of new rewards there's a new currency called bronze tokens of celebration or something like that which is a take on the bronze from the mop, mop remix i assume um, and you can earn that stuff one thing i'll note on this I guess right away when you first start doing it, you might seem like, I'm never going to get enough bronze for this. But I think at, on the third week, so like if you cap out your bronze the first week, the second week, I think the third week, it's it's almost like time gated. I think by the third week, it becomes grindable. So if you want to farm everything, basically 
uh, from what I read, it would be two, and then the first. So during the first. Uh, during the first week, full week of November, it would start to be grindable at that point. Um, so you, it, so you'd, you'd max out your currency, max out your currency, you get to a certain amount and then it's grindable. Uh, meaning like if you want to sit there, no life and get every item you can do so. Uh, but it's after you hit a certain mark. I, I want to say it was like a hundred or something like that. I, I, this is from me reading a different creator's post. Um, I'm sorry for the lack of you know, in-depth information on that. And the post could be wrong too, let, let's be clear. But that's what I read. It's from someone that I pretty much trust though. So um, that should be the case there. So if you if you seem like it might be overwhelming at first when you get into the currency, you just know that, you know, it might be a little bit easier. You know, it's, it's just meant to kind of like keep you doing it, I guess, right? It's a typical MMO thing, right? keep you doing it maybe and maybe they'll relax those or whatever or maybe they'll make it grindable easier or maybe they'll make it even more i think they already did a thing did an uh, did an update on the ptr to actually give you even more of the stuff it shouldn't be too difficult is the long and short of it um at the end of the day if, if you're playing the game and you want to get the stuff you'll get the stuff so uh that should be that at least as far as i know from everything i've heard everything that i have read um, other than that, so we have the big class changes. We have the anniversary event. We have other little minor changes, a little bit of tuning, all this kind of stuff. Um, we, so we have all that. This is just a huge patch coming out. Um, it, it's, just, it's just so much, honestly. Uh, and it's like, like I said last week, it was like the only week where I didn't really have much to do. And now, well, now there's all this stuff to do. Uh, there's this Hallow's End stuff to do. And this is something, uh, for me personally, this is a holiday that I do uh, sometimes with my son as well. Who likes who, who doesn't play a ton of world of warcraft but likes to do things like this uh in the game so um yeah so now it's a super busy week again and uh, all the paladin stuff on top of that as well uh when it comes to paladin specifically me pal as a paladin uh did fill my vault again this week i don't know how much longer i'm going to do this last week notably on the vault opening i got a one of my pretty much my best in slot trinket with the mark of cardros um, I did fill up my vault again. I don't know how long I'm going to keep filling up my vault for Mythic Plus. Uh, it's just a bit too tedious at this point. Um, this far into the tier already, uh, it's a bit tedious to do so. But uh, for as long as I do fill it up, I'll continue to do the vault videos. Some people enjoy those a lot. And so I'll continue to do that. And I, I'll have that coming out today as well. Uh, I'll have the actual breaking down of all the new Paladin talents. I'll have that coming out probably Wednesday. Uh, would be when that, when I put that video out of breaking out every single talent for the all the paladin changes that'll be coming out then and yeah just I'm looking forward to all the anniversary stuff oh the secret finding so there is possibly a secret finding element to this we don't know how secret findery it, it is yet like how difficult it is but if it's interesting and fun at all I will be putting out videos for the secret finding as well I'm not sure that that starts right on the patch day that might not start for another week or two or something like that. But whenever that starts, if it's interesting and fun, I will be putting out videos for the secret finding stuff. Because that's something that I enjoy in the game a lot. That I don't get to do a lot because they don't do secrets as much as they used to, unfortunately. Um, and this will not be a huge secret. But, you know, maybe there is a huge secret in the War Within somewhere and we just haven't found it yet. So I'll be definitely looking forward to doing that as well. I can't remember what it's called. It's, it's like it's, it's set up as like you're at you're like helping out some... I don't, I don't even know. You're helping out some people, and but it, it leads into like a mystery and secret finding and stuff like that. So uh, definitely uh, excited for that as well. So th lots of exciting stuff for me to do personally, at least uh, this week. Uh, Mythic Raid, we should get Brew Twister down this week. You'll not get another thing of the raid bonus this week. This will be the week where you get your eight. And then next week after this will be another buff to the raid, 2.25% uh, or whatever, uh, to the uh, severed threads or whatever it's called. And so, yeah, that, that won't be this week, but we should get Mythic Brew Twister down. And yeah, overall, I, I've had, I actually had a really easy time with my keys. That's another reason why I filled up my vault this week is I had a very easy time getting my, I, I think I literally signed up for eight tens and I did eight tens, completed them all. I think I timed like seven of them uh, with pugs. And so it wasn't bad at all. If it's like that, then I could see myself continue, continuing to fill it for a while. But if it's not like that, I could see myself dropping out from it uh, for sure. So 
Um, that'll be it for this one, guys. Like I said, there'll be just there's no reason to sit here and talk about this stuff forever because there's gonna be, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on the stuff that's going to be coming out in, individually. So, um, yeah, we'll see you in those videos. As always, I do ask you to please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. If you're already a subscriber, I encourage you to check out the Patreon. Other than that, everybody, have a good one.